Okie dokie. Same idea, just with shifts. So we're going to find the vertex of these guys, and it's just been shifted. Our new vertex is 2, negative 3. So remember, when things are being shifted, uh, things with the x affect the x, and when it's grouped in, it does the opposite of what you'd expect. So that becomes 2, and then left, negative 3. This guy would be 1, negative 3. Don't be fooled. The x affects the x, the y affects the y. Opposite signs, because it's grouped in like that. This guy here, x hasn't been shifted, but the y has shifted up 1. Now take a second to see which way these open, up, down, left, or right. Since it's x squared, that's normal. That's up or down, positive, so it goes up. y squared, that's weird, so left or right, negative, so to the left. Uh, y squared again, but nice and positive, so that's going to be to the right. So it's going to help me when I graph these. The foci, foci are always inside the cups of the parabola, and the directrix is always on the other side. So, here we go. So, for the very first guy, I already figured out my focus was 2, negative 3. 4p is what's sitting right there. I should have written there in the form x squared equals 4py, y squared equals 4px. So, 4p is just that 12. Divide, if that's 4p, divide by 4 to get p. p is 3. And that's the distance from the vertex to the focus. So if my vertex is at 2, negative 3, and my p is 3, and I'm going up, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3 to get my focus, and then down 1, 2, 3 to get my directrix. The focal diameter is 12, so six, 12 across the focus, so 6 on either side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And... There he is, a nice fat parabola. You can see when you graph that the focus ended up at the point 2, 0, and the directrix ended up at this line y, oops, y equals negative 6. Picture goes a long way. We will do it again. We already figured out our vertex was 1, negative 3. The 4p is 8. Divide that by 4, p is 2. So 1, negative 1, 2, 3 is the vertex. Going this way, so I'll go 1, 2, that's p, that way, to get my focus. Go 2 the other way to get my directrix. Focal diameter is 8, so 4 on either side. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and connect the dots to make a lovely parabola. My focus ended up at zero, oops, negative one, uh, negative three, and my directrix ended up at, oops, that's an x equals, x equals, what was that? That was one, two, three, so that's y, <laughs> I can talk, y, x equals, uh, three. Going too fast for you guys, sorry. So, there that is. And we do it one more time. So this is going to go away. Okay. And so we have the vertex is 0, 1. There's nothing here, so it's assumed to be a 1. Divide that by 4, unfortunately a fourth. So I've got my graph. 0, 1 is my vertex. It's going that way, so I'll go 1 fourth that way to get my focus, and 1 fourth the other way to get my directrix. Fo lattice rectum is 1 long, so half on either side, a very skinny parabola here. So that's 1 long there, half that way, half that way. So the focus ended up at that point there, which I can tell from my graph is uh, 1 fourth out and 1 up, and then the directrix ended up, that's an x equals negative 1 fourth. So picture's worth a thousand words. Uh, even when the numbers get kind of gnarly, being able to picture what was happening and kind of uh, what was happening to the vertex, and you'll see that you're just kind of adding and subtracting things from the vertex, just like shifting a normal graph. So, I'll be fast.